Hi, good morning. Welcome to our Science 4, Module 6, Identify Changes in the Materials that are Useful or Harmful to One's Environment. Our lesson for this Module 6 is Changes in Materials Whether Useful or Harmful to Environment. So in this module, you will understand why the changes in materials are useful and harmful to us in our surrounding. Specifically, this module will help you to determine whether changes in materials are useful and harmful to one's environment. Next is, describe the effect of changes in materials in one's environment. The last one is, apply ways on how to minimize, prevent, the harmful effects of changes in the materials to the environment. Everybody may experience everyday changes in life. As like Theodore Roosevelt says, without change, there would be no life. Our lives are fueled by change and it depends on us on how we accept changes. According to Raymond S. Nickerson, many of the most readily identified causes of these changes are human activities. Some changes may harmful and useful to one's environment. Class, here are some examples of changes in materials which can be useful or harmful in one's environment. Cutting a piece of cloth to be made into handkerchief. Next, cutting of fabric to be made into cloths. Cutting of shaping pieces of wood lumbered into chair. And changing wood into charcoal for cooking. Another, old plastic, rubbers, and some materials can be used as plant or flower pot. Here are the harmful changes in materials on one's environment. Burning of old tires and other plastic materials or trash throwing of kerosene and detergents into the sewage. When the surrounding air is blanketed with smoke from factories and motorized vehicles, ashes and other dust particles, the air becomes polluted. Polluted air causes skin itchiness, lung infections, cancer, and other respiratory diseases. Dumping of garbage of any kinds, such as empty bottles, plastics, toxic waste, chemicals from factories, and others on land and water can cause pollution. When the material, soil or land is dumped with garbage of any kind, such as empty bottles, plastic, toxic waste, chemicals from factories, and others, the soil or the land become polluted. Polluted land serves as breeding places for flies, cockroaches, and rats. These pests carry germs that cause diseases, hence hazardous to one's health. Growing plant is not also possible in polluted land. When the material, example water in the river, is dumped with garbage of any kind such as empty bottles, plastic, waste materials from houses and other industrial and chemical waste from the factories, the river becomes polluted. If we drink water contaminated with germs, we are likely to get sick or diseases. Polluted water also kills living organisms. Example, fish, water, plants, etc. 
Cutting down of trees is also harmful to the environment. It affects the quality of air that we breathe. It causes rapid change in temperature and soil erosion. In addition, when trees are cut down, rain levels are severely affected since moisture in the air could not be retained by the trees. This, in turn, changes weather patterns which leads to other environmental concerns. Cutting down of trees also causes soil erosion. Many animals native to forests also lose their habitats. Cutting down tree is prohibited. To solve the problem on deforestation, planting of trees should be done. Some changes in the materials are harmful to the environment. It may pollute land, water, and air. To keep our surroundings clean and to prevent or minimize pollution in our environment, people are encouraged to do the five R's. The five R's of responsible waste management. These are reduce, reuse, recycle, repair, and rot. Here are some ways to help preserve one's environment. The five R's of responsible waste management. First, we have the reduce. Buy items in refillable containers. Use cloth bag, eco bag, instead of plastic bag when you buy groceries. Avoid buying disposable items or single use products like utensils, plates, cups, etc. Reuse. Reuse a scratch paper, kit, wrapper, etc. Consider the potential lifespan or durability when buying new products. Buy durable food, storage, containers, and reuse them instead of using foil, plastic bags, wrap. Recycle. Do not throw away used newspaper or used writing pads. You can sell them to be made as new material. Use bottles, tin cans, rubber tires can be recycled into pencil case or plant pads. Repair. Have appliances, office equipment, lighting fixtures, and automotive parts repaired instead of buying new ones. Have an old furniture reupholstered or refurbished instead of buying new ones. Rat. Set up a compost pile to compost yard trimmings. Make a compost pit bin in the yard for your biodegradable materials such as fruits, vegetables, coffee grounds, etc. Class, remember the following. Changes happen every day in our daily activities. There are useful and harmful effects of changes of materials in our environment. Reduce, reuse, recycle, repair, and rot are the ways to be followed to become more responsible in waste management.